This time we are going to discuss the graphs of quadratic functions defined by f of x equals a times the square of the difference x minus h plus k. So we are going to um, study or observe the size of the curve where our a is greater than 0 or a is less than 0. So, again, our objective is to describe the size of the curve of quadratic function defined by a times the square of the difference of x and h plus k using uh, the function f of x, which is equal to ax squared, where a is greater than 0 or a is less than 0. Okay, so here we have the graph of the function defined by x squared. It's denoted by um, pink la curve. And another graph of the function defined by 2x squared in the yellow curve and the third function defined by 1 half x squared in a blue curve okay as we can see in the function defined by 2x squared, our a is equal to 2, represented by the yellow graph. In another function defined by x squared, where a is equal to 1, represented by the pink curve. And the third function defined by 1 half x squared, where a is equal to 1 half, is represented by the blue curve. Now, we notice that all the values of our a, which are 2, 1, and 1 half, are all positive. Now, let's look at the graph. The blue graph or the blue curve is actually the curve where a is equal to 1 half. The pink curve is actually the curve represented by the, gra uh, by the function where a is equal to 1. And the yellow curve represents the function where a is equal to 2. So we noticed that as a gets smaller the graph opens wider and as a gets larger the graph opens narrower okay okay let's do this identify the value of a in each of the following and arrange the functions from widest to narrowest graph One, we have the function defined by 2 third x squared. Two, we have the function defined by, I mean the quadratic function defined by 3 over 2 x squared. Three is a quadratic function defined by 1 fourth x squared. So you are going to identify the values of a, the value of a in each function. And then arrange the function from the widest to the narrowest graph. You can write your answer in a scratch paper or in your notebook. Or you can even answer this one mentally. Okay, let's have another example. Again, identify the value of A in it to the following quadratic function and arrange 
them from widest to narrowest graph. So here we have the in number one is a quadratic function defined by 1.2x squared. Number two is a quadratic function defined by 0.5x squared. Number three is a function, quadratic function defined by 2.1x squared. Where, I mean, you are going to um, determine the values of A and arrange the functions from the widest to the function with the narrowest graph. Okay. Again, you can write your answers in your notes, scratch paper, or mentally. Okay. So this time, let us observe another um, quadratic function defined by f of x equals ax squared. Okay, the simplest function form. But this time, we have actually uh, we have similar functions that compare uh, similar functions we had earlier. But the only difference now is the value of a is negative. No? Okay. So what happened to the curves of the quadratic functions? In the previous in our previous example where a is greater than zero or a is positive, all the curves open upward. And this time All the curves open downward. No, this is because the value of our a are less than zero or all negative. So as you can see, the blue curve represents the quadratic function defined by negative one half x squared, where a is equal to the neg is equal to negative one half. And the pink curve is a quadratic function defined by negative x squared where, you're, where a is equal to negative 1. And the yellow curve represents the function uh, defined by negative 2x squared where a is equal to negative 2. So we notice that for a, for a negative value of a, as a gets smaller, the graph opens narrower. As A gets larger, the graph opens wider. So the size of our curve is now the opposite of that of our previous set of examples. Okay, now let's do this. So again, you are going to identify the value of A in each of the following quadratic functions and arrange the functions from widest to narrowest graph. So number one, we have a function defined by negative 2.2x squared. Number two, we have the function defined by negative 1.5x squared. Another function defined by negative 0.8x squared. So um, identify the values of A and arrange the curve from the widest to the function with the narrowest graph or curve A. Now, how about this one, where in number one, it's a quadratic function defined by negative one half x squared. Number two is a quadratic function defined by negative one eight, one over eight x squared. 
third, we have the quadratic function defined by negative 1 over 4 x squared. Okay. The same instruction, identify the values of a and arrange the graph from widest to the narrowest. Okay, thank you. So, I hope you have learned something today about the behavior or the size of the quadratic function defined by um, the simplest uh, quadratic function, which is ax squared. Okay, thank you.